What's going on guys? This is Dave. Um, coming through practice tonight and I just want to show you something that I think is super common problems we got Heather here. So uh, Heather stands sideways. She's been having a little bit of back problems. Um, she was starting off way back when. Said she was a little sore when she was doing back handstands, back walk She has a lot of flight series, step outs, layout step outs. And, uh, so she tends to fire from, from here way too much and not use up here or down in her hips. So uh, what we've been doing is a lot of core stability work for her front. She rested for about two weeks from that stuff before we got back to it. Um, she's totally good now, but the only thing that's given her a little bit of discomfort is a, a slow back walk over and a front walk over. So what we're trying to do is teach her to use this part of her spine to be stable and use her shoulder blade muscles and her shoulders overhead and also her hip muscles and her glutes to open her up to be able to kind of spread the load across the whole thing. And so if she puts her arms up like this, the problem is that if, if they go to do a back walk over and they start the motion through her back like this, we pretty much take up all the ligament slack in that motion. We put a lot of pressure on the facet joints, some of the ligaments in the spine, and some things of the joints and the joint capsules that really aren't made to take it. And this position of unlocking pretty much destabilizes the whole core. If we're in neutral here and we're trying to think about firing everything, bracing it together, maybe a little bit of slight extension in a brace position or a slight flex position, that's okay because it's protected. But as soon as we really move into that drastic thing, it hurts a little bit for her because we're locking down those facet joints. So we want to try to avoid that at all costs. So, uh, what we're doing is I'm just going to show you guys a quick drill I think is really important. So if you guys want to link a band up just like this into a tie it, they can step through it. And they're going to kneel down and it's going to go right across the front of their hips here. So what we want to do with this is, so this is going to pull her into kind of the anterior tilt or that arch back posture that usually sits in gymnasts. So what we're trying to do is squeeze your glutes, right, pull these ribs down and stay here. So we're trying to keep this engaged at all times and if she's tight, when I push her, she's not going to move. If she unlocks her spine and she's arching here, she's real wobbly. And that destabilizes our core. We're not going to get a lot of power transfer for beam stuff. And we're also going to start to injure some of these facet joints and some of the smaller stuff. So she's going to brace here. This band's going to want to pull her, but she's going to fight against it. Squeeze her butt and she's going to go arms up. And we're going to say, all right, we try to keep this neutral here. Although we're going to get some slight arch, but I want you to reach back with your shoulder blade muscles more than your back. So reach back, pull, 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 and back. And she's got a little bit of stability issues and some thoracic mobility issues here that we're working on. So she's gonna reach back, she's gonna pull, 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 and that's pretty hard, right? Yeah. yeah, so that's tougher. She's a strong girl, but it's pretty tougher because it's more of a brain thing. So now she's gonna try to do that a couple times, and she's also gonna fire her glutes here. So squeeze these glutes, lock it in, brace it here, and then reach back with your shoulders, fire the glutes, fire the glutes. So we're getting a little bit more motion from up here and down here without really sacrificing this. If they're doing it wrong, they're gonna start the motion, you're gonna see a hinge point here. So if you see a hinge, that's not good because that hinge is getting loaded from both sides of it, and we don't want that. So if she hinges the wrong way, it'll look like this. Where she just kind of sits her hips forward and she's just really locking down those facet joints. We don't want that. So lock it in, brace, reach, 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 and then pull back up. Good. So once they learn this and they master it, we can kind of teach this in a back walk over, which is where she was getting some of the pain. So we're going to come over here, right here to the floor. So I'm just going to have Heather do it the wrong way first. Stand this way, yeah. So she's going to use that hinge. She's going to do it the wrong way, which I think a lot of gymnasts see is they start the motion from here, they unlock their spine and they arch like that. And she's going to do a back walk over. We're going to see if it hurts or not. Part a little bit, not that I want to encourage it, but just to show. So do it the wrong way. So unhinge, pull. How's that feel? Does that hurt? Yeah, she gets a little bit of pinch in there. Not that we want to do it, but just for the sake of example, nothing crazy. If we've made it to, she's fine, she's safe. But if she thinks about reaching and locking this down, pulling to the ground with her shoulder blades first, squeezing her glute on the stance side, and really locking that core down. It's going to be probably a little bit safer for her. It's going to look better, and it's also not going to get us into that chronic arch position. So she's going to lock that down. Reach, 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 pull. Stand up. Does that feel better? Yeah. Yeah, so not as much pain. So we're still getting some of that arch. You know, it's, we got a lot of work to do above on her, a lot of work to do on below for stability and glute control. But just a quick tip you guys can use for people who I think really fire from here destabilize your spine. Super dangerous when we do that over and over and start looking like stress fractures and stuff. So that's it.